Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White, and in this episode, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite Lightroom features, and that's using a combination of the Publish Collections and Smart Collections. Now, the goal here is that I have a regular manual collection that I put, uh, that I'm always editing and putting in um, shots from my most recent shoot. So, my favorite shot. Uh, so, I call it recent work. But I only keep a maximum of 24 photos in there, so when I put a new one in, I always remove the oldest one. So that works out great, but I also want to put that same collection on multiple sites like Facebook and Flickr and SmugMug. So what I've done is take the manual collection and create its smart collections in the various published services. So let's take a look at how that works. So here I am uh, in Lightroom. And I have a photo that is my most recent shot. I'm going to uh, use it uh, for this uh, demo, but it actually was taken today. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I have here the, pub the regular manual collection called Recent Work. And as you can see, there's already 24 images in the recent work. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this one image in to the Recent Work collection. Now it says they're 25, so when I go to it, and we go ahead and... Let's make our thumbnails a little smaller if we can. There we go. If we scroll down, the uh, most recent image is at the bottom. I'm just going to go ahead and drag it manually to the top here. And, of course, go down to the last image and delete the last image from the collection. So, now I'm back to 24 of my most recent images. And that works great for when I go ahead and publish my web gallery using this collection uh, for my website. However, uh, now that it's time to publish those same photos on sites like Facebook and Flickr and SmugMug, if I scroll down, you'll notice that there are some published services that I've got set up. So I've got one set up that, uh, for the hard drive, and it mimics whatever's in recent work. But I've also got one set up for Facebook, one for Flickr, and one for SmugMug. So each one has a recent work uh, smart collection in it. So how does that work? How do you create one of those? So I'm just going to go ahead and right click on the Flickr published collection that I've already, or I'm sorry, the Flickr published service that I've already got set up. And you'll notice that it can create a photo set, which is what Flickr refers to them as, or it can create a smart photo set. So if I were to create a smart photo set, it's going to ask me what I want to call it. I can call it, for example, recent work two. And I'm not going to do this because I've already done it once, but I'll show you the criteria. All the criteria is, is that the collection, it contains the word recent, because that's my only collection called recent, or you can make the whole thing, you know, it could be the, uh, contains all the words like recent work or contains or starts with or so forth and so on. But in this case, if I were to click create right now, it would build a smart collection that has those same 24 images in it. So I'm going to cancel out because, again, I've already done that part. But let's say, for example, we go to Facebook. And I haven't updated this one in a while. So there are five new recent photos to be published and five to be removed. Now, there is one caveat with Facebook is that the, A the Facebook AI API doesn't allow Lightroom to delete the delete any photos. So when I publish this, I'm going to get an error message that, or a dialogue that comes up at the end and says, you'll have to go in manually to Facebook and delete the old ones. So, for example, if I hit publish, that will start building out the new uh, photos as JPEGs, of course, based on the settings that I set up originally for the published service. It will also start uploading those uh, five new photos. And again, once that's done, it will, you know, it will attempt to delete or just come back and tell me that it can't delete those. Now, uh, you don't have to wait for that one to finish. So, for example, I can go to the uh, one for Flickr, and I can also say Publish, and it will start two operations. So, Flickr's going, Facebook's going, and as you can see, they're starting to disappear out of the Publish area here. So, Flickr is going ahead and upload, and Flickr will delete the old ones. So that will work. And same thing for SmugMug. Go down to Recent Work. Same thing. This time I haven't updated it for the last seven photos. 
So it will, and by the way, here's the message I was telling you about that the Facebook site can't delete them. So I'm just going to click OK. But then I'll go ahead and publish the ones from SmugMug as well. And SmugMug will start updating. And as you can see, they're starting to disappear and go down to the uh, very bottom area of the actual published photos. So, and also SmugMug can do the deletion as well. As you can see, it's deleting the photos out of SmugMug. So basically in one collection that I'm managing manually, I was able to update all my various social networking photo sites um, with just smart collections because they all refer to the same original manual collection that I'm dragging photos in and dragging photos out or deleting out. Um, so if I were to go and look at my Flickr now for recent work, uh, it's, it's up to date with the 24 photos. And if I were to go to Facebook, it's going to show me only 24 photos, but I know it did not actually delete the old ones off Facebook's site. So I'd have to manually go delete the old ones. And that's only for Facebook. So Flickr, SmugMug are good to go. Your published to your hard drive is good to go, which by the way, I can go do that as well. Because what do I use this one for? Let's go ahead and publish. The hard drive one is the one that I use for uh, syncing with mobile devices, such as my smartphone, my iPad, such, so forth and so on. So I sync that folder of photos there. And again, it's always up to date. All I have to do is hit the publish button. It will put in the new photos, delete the old ones from the folder that's on my hard drive. So I hope that helped you understand how you can take advantage of two things, published collections to get the same photos up to multiple sites, as well as smart collections to not have to duplicate the work of manually remembering to drag photos in and out. You make it once, create all the smart collections, then you just go to each one and hit publish, and now we'll update them all. So thanks again for watching this episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White.